Rumpelstiltskin is probably the most famous version of the folktales categorized as Name of the Helper. In these tales, someone gets help from a supernatural being for something, and then they have to guess that being's name in order to get out of a bad bargain. But there's a Scottish variety of this tale that I find more concise and more fun. But you don't get the name of it to start because that would spoil the whole thing. Fucked up fairy tales with Liz. Ding! Once there was a young mother who found herself in a terrible way. Her husband had disappeared for reasons we can only speculate on. She now had a baby son to raise by herself, and the only other thing she had to her name was a sow. Now, the sow was pregnant, so it looked like the woman would be able to make a little bit of money by selling the calf. But one day, when the woman went to tend on the animal, she found it dying in its pen. The woman was wildly distraught, and the fairies heard that desperation. So suddenly, a gentlewoman all in green showed up at her door. Well, look at you, all wailing and flailing. Oh, my lady, I am in a terrible way. My husband has left me high and dry. Honey, big deal. Men are trash. They all leave, all the time. Next. And my cow, my one source of income is dying. Now that I can do something about. But what will you give me in return? I don't have much, but what I have, I will give. I was hoping you'd say that. The green woman rubbed a tonic all over the cow's snout, ears, and the tip of its tail, muttering some indecipherable words. The cow rose up, fit as a fiddle, and the young mother thanked the gentlewoman tearfully. Now for my fee, it comes to one baby boy. What? Don't take him! A mother is nothing without her child. Literally nothing. Honey, you need a better sense of self. Isn't there anything I can do to change your mind? Ugh, I was afraid you'd ask that. Technically, by fairy law, I have to give you three days with him before I take the boy. And when I come back, if you can guess my name, you get the services pro bono. I'll see you soon! Now, this lady didn't get three different chances to guess the woman's name. She had three days with her child, and then one night of guessing. So you can see why she was pretty fucking stressed. The first night, she barely got anything done but cry. The second day, she decided to spend some time with her son, which is very thoughtful. So she took him on a walk. They were passing through the green wood behind their home, when the woman noticed a very peculiar-looking den all grown over with greenery. She heard someone from within, and when she peered inside, she spied the gentlewoman singing to herself while spinning flax. She'll never guess that maudlin dame, that whoopity story is my name. I definitely wouldn't have guessed that. My favorite part of this version of the tale is the dramatic show that the mother puts on when the gentlewoman comes to retrieve the child. Okay, just checking in. You got any guesses for me? Ugh, of all the names in the world, how could I possibly guess? Please, my lady, reconsider. Take the cow and not my baby. I have no need for a cow. And please, my lady, take me instead. And what the hell would I do with you? You're right. You are right. There is no way someone as lowly as I am is good enough for the great whoopity story. That's your name. It's whoopity story. I guessed it. Oh, for fuck's sake. The gentlewoman ran back to the woods, screeching all the way home. The end. If you missed my version of Rumpelstiltskin, you can find it in my first compilation of Grim Fairy Tales. And as always, if you have requests, pop them in the comments. I do plan my stories out a lot these days. However, I always keep a list of requests to refer back to when I'm picking out stories. If you'd like to hear my stories in podcast form, vote on future tales, and get other perks, you can join my Patreon. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you for the next Fucked Up Fairy Tale. Fucked Up Fairy Tales with Liz. Fucked Up Fairy Tales with Liz.